The first plenary of the Ninth Nigerian National Assembly began with the new president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, administering oath on former Imo State Governor Rocha Zokorocha, the senator representing Imo West in the National Assembly. The swearing-in is made possible after the Federal High Court in Abuja directed the Independent National Electoral Commission to issue Senator Okorocha with his certificate of return, which the electoral umpire complied with. Commencing the proceedings of the day, the lawmakers move motions ranging from President Mohamed Buhari's democratic speech, the right way to address both the presidents and deputy presidents of the Senate. And this speech, Mr. President, is already in the public domain. And I'm asking that in view of the interest it has generated, Senator Gia, I think I can stop you at that. Mr. President, you'll be described as the president of the Ninth Senate, not the Ninth Senate president. I seek a correction of this. And in every language, in every communication, we should be consistent with the Constitution and, and the rule of law. So, Mr. President, I move that the other paper be corrected to reflect the provisions of the Senate rules and of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I so move. We take the motion as moved by Senator Jiang. Say aye. aye. Those against say nay. Aye. The nays have it. Meanwhile, the Nigerian Senate has written to President Mohamed Buhari and the Office of the Secretary to the Federal Government to inform them of the Constitution of the Ninth Assembly. The Upper Chamber of the National Assembly also wrote to the African Union, ECOWAS Parliament, Pan-African Parliament, Interparliamentary Union, Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, amongst others, of his readiness to receive communications from them. Before the Red Chamber went into closed session, he sent a congratulatory message to the Speaker and Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives. CNN News.